Scapular control is the most important ability to progress in calisthenics. Your scapula, aka the shoulder plate, is one part of the shoulder complex and the attachment point for 17 different muscles. It's the powerhouse of the upper body and allows you to perform a lot of movements safely. Every time you move your arm or hold it in a specific position, the shoulder blade and its attached muscles work as well. If you get control over the scapula, you will progress much easier and faster to advanced calisthenic skills. On top of that, you decrease the potential of injury massively. To improve your scapular control, you should practice the following four basic movements. First, elevation. Elevation means to move your scapula upwards. This is essential for all overhead movements such as handstands, pike push-ups, handstand push-ups and also the human flag. Here you need to elevate the scapula of the lower arm to raise and hold your body in the air. To practice this movement, we suggest weighted overhead shrugs and shrugs or elevated holds in the pike stand or handstand position. The second movement is depression. Here you move your scapula downwards. This is important for any form of vertical support holds, but also to initiate any form of pull-ups or even a lever raise. When it comes to the human flag, you also need to depress your scapula, but this time on your upper arm. Here we suggest different progressions of the passive to active hang in an overhead position, and various shrug movements with arms on this side. The third movement is protraction. Protraction means to push your shoulder blades forward. This is essential for any form of planches or horizontal supports in general. Important side note, injury or dysfunction of the muscles and nerves responsible for protraction can lead to a winged scapula. Here we suggest practicing this movement in any form of a front plank position. The last movement is retraction. Retraction means moving the shoulder blades backwards, which brings them together. This movement is important for any kind of rows, front lever holds, and also the transition of the ring muscle up. To improve this movement, we suggest practicing scapular retractions with a resistance band, archer variations, and retractions in a row position. Besides that, retraction also plays a role for shoulder safety when it comes to horizontal push movements. If you retract your shoulder blades actively, you leave more room for your humerus to move and with that lower the risk of injury significantly. Okay, now you probably want to know how you can practice and include these movements into your workout. Well, you can either implement them into your warm-up or do them right after your workout as some form of cool-down. In addition, it's also possible to practice these movements during your regular workout. For example, next time you're doing body rows, try to release and retract your scapula after each rep. Alright guys, if you want more detailed calisthenic secrets like that, just head over to kellymove.com and check our online workout courses. Every course comes as a step-by-step -step guide that you can follow easily. So you don't have to worry about when to train, what to do or how many reps and sets you should do. If you like this video, leave a thumbs up, subscribe and activate the notifications. My name is Alex and I'll see you in the next video.